Hey guys, how are you? My name is Derek Smith. It is uh, December 30th, getting ready to enter into the year of 2021. Um, <clears throat> I feel compelled to um, get on here and just encourage everybody, you know, considering we're entering into this new year and this uh, situation that's going on in our government and the fraudulence there. We need to really understand that as a church and as the body of Christ, Right now, it is so important that we intercede for this nation in this time that God has called us to. You know, we need to stand together and we need to pray and we need to believe that God has his hand over this election and he has um, his will involved in this election. But I'm just going to encourage everybody until January 6th to make sure every day that you are pleading the blood over Donald Trump, that you are pleading the blood of Jesus over his legal team that you're um, asking for exposure um, of the evil and the darkness in this world. Um, just continue to believe that God is going to continue to expose the work of the enemy. But now is the time, and I challenge everybody. I run a church on Sunday nights in Troy, Michigan at 5.30. I um, am a non-denominational group that rents out the Church of Christ building uh, Sunday nights at 5.30. So if anyone wants to come and join Sunday nights, I do it for free. I don't do it for a job. Um, I just believe that the church needs to really be the church again. And I believe that God is going to draw a line in the sand uh, for a lot of people that there's not going to be this fabricated church that I think we've had for so long. And it's been so non-effective. It's been entertainment sourced. It's been more of a focus on everything other than the presence of God. And I believe God has allowed this time to happen in order for us to get ourselves together as the church and start taking it seriously. It's either going to be black or white. Um, and, and it's incredible to me. It's amazing to see how many Christian people have um, sided with the left side. And I'm here to tell you tonight that it's impossible to be a believer in Christ and have a leftist view. It is absolutely impossible. There's no way that you can say you're not promoting same-sex marriage and or abortion and yet call yourself a Christian and vote for the Liberal Party. It's not possible. Um, it's absolutely impossible. And I think that's where the church has become so divided. And God is just saying that now is the hour, now is the moment that we need to rise up and we need to stand and we need to continue to pray every single day until January 6th. And I do believe that the hand of God is on this election. And I do believe that God is going to come on top of this victoriously. Guys, I'm asking you and I'm begging you for every church member and every body of Christ to come together and believe and pray right now for a turnover in this election. We will not hand this election over to the enemy. And I'm going to say a prayer right now. And I'm asking anyone that wants to join me this Sunday night in Troy at 530 at the Church of Christ um, in Troy, Michigan, to come out and pray with us and believe that God is going to do something in 2021. And we are waiting on it and we believe in it. I'm going to ask everyone to agree with me as I say this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today. Jesus, we believe you're real, Lord God. We ask that you continue to plead the blood of Jesus Christ over Donald Trump, over his legal team, Father, and over the people involved in this election, Father God, we bind and we rebuke the enemy and his work away from this election, Father God. We will not hand this election over to him, Father God. We know that you are bigger than everything else, Lord Jesus, and we pray that principalities and powers of evil get brought down right now as we speak, Father God. We continue, Jesus, to believe in who you are, Lord Jesus, and what you're going to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Guys, please, I encourage you as the church, every prayer matters right now. This is where we need to stand up and rise up. And I'm doing this and I'll leave it with this. This is a really cool testimony as, I, as I've mentioned before on this channel. But, you know, I was born a Christian. And then when I was 19, I decided to step away and uh, women drinking marijuana, you know, you name it, I did it. Nine years later, I'm 28. Um, February 9th, my dad's birthday, 2012, I woke up to a voice that said two weeks to live from my sleep. So I thought I was going to die. So I rededicated my life to Jesus thinking I was going to die. Two weeks from that day, my father passed away out of nowhere right in front of me. 
and it changed my life forever. And it made me realize that I never know when I'm going to go, but I better know who I serve, meaning Jesus. I'm telling you, it's real. If there's anybody here that wants to say that prayer, we're going to say it real quick. Everybody, if you're not a believer and you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, now is the moment. Now is the time. Say this prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I am a sinner and I repent of my sins. Father God, I come before you and I invite your son Jesus into my life to be my Lord and Savior. Father God, and I ask to have a daily relationship with you and follow you all the days of my life. And Father God, may I leave my old lifestyle behind and take up my cross and follow you. In your precious name. Amen. God bless, guys, and I hope to see you come out Sunday nights if it's your desire if you live in Michigan. But if you need to travel and you feel compelled to come out Sunday night at 5.30 at uh, Church of Christ that we run out, the name of the ministry is called Shekinah Evangelistic Church. God bless.